Hi everybody. Welcome to Sensory Story Time. I'm Stephanie. I'm Ophelia. And today, what are we talking about? Today we are talking about inspiration. Yes. So since we're in the month of March, the month of March is known as Women's History Month. So we are going to draw some inspiration from some wonderful women around us. Specifically, um, I got to choose the inspiration this month and somebody that I'm very much inspired by is an artist and her name is Frida Kahlo. So we're going to be talking about Frida Kahlo today. We're going to be reading a book about her, which will be really fun. And um, you just wait and see. We have some fun things in the store. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. But first, we have to do our welcome songs. Everybody we do. Ready to do that? Oh my gosh. Okay. Are Here we go. ready? Clap, clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello no matter what the weather. Stop. Stomp everybody and say hello. Stomp everybody and say hello. Stomp everybody and say hello no matter what the weather. Wiggle everybody and say hello. Wiggle everybody and say hello. Wiggle everybody and say hello no matter what the weather. Take a seat and fold your hands. Take a seat and fold your hands. Take a seat and fold your hands. Get ready for a story. So I told you we were going to have a story today about my favorite artist, Frida Kahlo. And the book is called Frida. And I'm going to leave up Frida. I'm going to move up a bit so you guys can see it. And this is written and illustrated by Yuji Morales, who's one of my favorite authors. Let's take a Ooh, look at how pretty. Viva Frida. The photography is by Tim O'Meara, and it's a Neil Porter book with Roaring Brook Press, New York. Oh, soy. I am. Yo. I. Busca. Search. Ooh, what do you think she's looking for? Que esta buscando? Hmm. Veo. I see. Do you see what the monkey's trying to give her? It's a key. I wonder what that key goes to. Maybe that right there. Aha! Aha! It was to that box. What do you think is in there? Juega. I play. Oh, it's a little marionette. The puppy likes it. I know. Oh. Sueño. I dream. Y me doy cuenta. And I realize... De que, that, siento, I feel, oh no, the little deer got hurt. Y entiendo, and I understand, oh, she's all better now. Que amo, that I love, aww. Y creo arte, and create. Y por lo tanto, and so... Vivo, I live. Look at all those beautiful colors and lights. This is called papel picado, isn't that pretty? the end and here at the end there's some information about Frida Kahlo and her life and the way this book was made it's very interesting illustrations aren't they the end I like that book Viva Frida me too that book is actually located in our Spanish section mm -hmm. because it has both Spanish and English words in it right so you can come in and you can either ask anyone at the desk for that book or you can find it in the Spanish section under MOR. Correct. Yeah. So, are you ready for 
Show and tell! Yay! Okay, so... Mm. The other great thing about this book yeah, and our it. show and tell today... Oh, you have it. Okay. ...is that it's a video. You yeah. can actually check out a biography video for it, and it reads the story. It tells you about Frida Kahlo, who's one of the world's most famous and unusual artists. She's revered around the world, and um, she's born in Mexico, and she's a Mexican artist. And a lot of the things that Frida was famous for were her self-portraits. And a self-portrait is when you paint a picture of yourself. Yes. This, or you can draw it or whatever. You can make it out of whatever you want. And so that leads directly into our activity. activity. So, um, like Miss Ophelia said, most of the work that you'll find of Frida Kahlo, you'll see herself in her paintings because she was mainly a self-portrait artist and self-portraits can be inspiring for anyone because they help us see ourselves in a certain way so when you're creating self-portrait um i would suggest that instead of just creating one from what you think you look like maybe look at a mirror while you're doing it you can do many kinds of self portraits. I did too, so you can see who we did. This is my attempt at watercolor. <laughs> now, I am not a watercolor artist, so this was a very brave choice for me. Um, I think that looks just like you. You do? <laughs> yes. Well, it has yellow hair and green eyes. I mean, green, yeah, and green glasses. glasses. And turtlenecks, which I love to wear. Like she's wearing today. <laughs> exactly. So I was like, I got the three main things, so I'm good. Um, so I just used some watercolor to make this. And I looked into a mirror as I did it. Um, I don't know that I got any details exactly correct, but you kind of know it's me mm -hmm. if you look at it. Um, another self-portrait that I did and this one is based on an artist that I really like called Christian Robinson. He is a um, children's book illustrator. Is I made this a cut collage out of construction paper. And I just used a round circle to make my head. I'm wearing a turtleneck again. <laughs> I have blonde hair and green glasses. And I used um, some yarn for my glasses and around the turtleneck to kind of define it a little bit. Um, I just glued that yarn on there. You can use any materials. There's not a right or wrong material when you're making art. Most people, when they think of self portraits, they think of drawings or paintings, but you can build a self portrait with paper. You can build a self portrait with sticks, anything you want. Anything, stickers, whatever you got around the house. Exactly. There's no wrong way to do it. And Stephanie's self-portraits really looked like her, but maybe yours would be more abstract. It doesn't quite look like you. Yeah. Um, or maybe you want to do a portrait of someone in your family. That might be nice, too. That actually would be a really nice gift. Mm -hmm. And because it's Women's History Month, it'd be really nice if you did it of some really wonderful woman who you love. And you could give it to them as a gift, and I'm sure they would cherish that forever. I know I would, for sure. Yes. So March is about, all about women's history and inspiration. And sometimes, you know, you just need to find something outside of yourself to, to give you ideas, to give you energy. And that's what um, art does for me, particularly Frida Kahlo's work really um, helps inspire me. So learn about some artists, some history, women's history, some women artists maybe, and see if they inspire you. Yeah. And a great place to make art is outside. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get outside, just being in the ground, feeling the fresh air, touching your feet to the earth, mm -hmm. just <clears throat> really grounds you and makes you feel inspired. It so gives you energy. I recommend making your self-portrait outside. Yes, definitely. You can even use things you find outside, like leaves and mm -hmm. grass and flowers. Yeah, you could collage those together. That'd mm -hmm. be cool. So this is the end of our sensory story time for March. We are meeting next month which is April 10th. So we will be on your Facebook screen at 10 a.m. <laughs> on Saturday the 10th. And it was so good that uh, you joined us today and I hope that you make self portraits. If you make one, please take a picture 
and put it on our Facebook page so that we can all see it. Yeah, put it in the comments. Yeah, it'll be so great. So let's sing our goodbye song. Okay, let's Ready? do it. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye. See you guys. Goodbye.